What a spoiler right on this box. I, you know, I, I purposely went out of my way to not look at this thing, but the new color of the OnePlus Pro, wait, OnePlus Buds Pro 2 is green and it's on the box. And I'm really excited. We got the Arbor green ones and not the black ones because they look fire. And because there's no white, but if I can't have the white, the green it was my choice. Let's see what it looks like IRL. Ah! An exploded view of the drivers. This is a dual driver design with 11 millimeter and six millimeter drivers combined. And it looks like a quick start guide. Again, it tells you the press area on the stem. I read somewhere that they were touch control, so I thought that maybe they had switched to being just capacitive, but it does look like there's a stem area to squeeze again. I'll set this guy aside for now. I'm guessing this is the charging cable. Exact same cable from last year. It's this long. It's USB A to C, and then you got your tips. Mediums are on the buds already, and then that was satisfying. I'm chasing the dragon, but that was honestly 80% as good. You got the smalls and the large tips right here. The main event. One plus, now it says on the case, Dyn Audio. It's a nice case, very small and compact, kind of matte finish on it. Not as creaky as before. Remember last time I was like, ow, ow. and for the sound of it, satisfying. They look so premium, and guess what? They did the opposite of inflation. 130 bucks for these, they were 150 last time. Wow, what a deal. They look so dope for that price, the industrial design. Oh, what? who's this? Pikachu? And do I have a tactileness to the squeeze? No. Good thing they have those instructions in there, because like, you can't hear in like a non-virtual terms any kind of click. I'm gonna put them on. <laughs> there's no way I, yeah, there's no way there's any kind of back noise canceling or anything happening right now, is there? They work pretty well as just good old fashioned earplugs. Now I wanna see the pairing process between a OnePlus device and a normal Android device. In the past, they always had a, like a magic process with the OnePlus device, but now we should get that across Android devices with Android Fast Pair. So let's see if there's still a difference. But first, a message from our sponsor. Thanks to Jackery sponsoring today's video. Jackery's new Solar Generator 1000 Pro is their fastest solar and wall recharging generator yet. It consists of a Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro portable power station and 80 watt solar panels. Plug it into the wall and get a full charge under two hours and deliver up to 100 watts of power thanks to the two 100 watt power delivery ports. Check out the new Jackery Solar Generator 1000 Pro at the link below. Pro, bro, this is not a OnePlus phone, right? This is a Samsung, and this prompt came up immediately. I haven't even pressed this button inside the case, which is the pairing button. This is a OnePlus phone, pretty different and cool looking. Be sure to check out our coverage of it separately, and it has the same prompt, so it looks like they're fairly equalized. Uh-oh, I didn't hit it though. Oh no, how do I get it back? Jack, come back. Device connected, done. Wow, it is just that easy. I guess I'll just do the Linus test. Uh, you weirdos out there that actually do this. It's too wide. Oh wait, it does fit in there. I hate that so much, I would never do that. Not only was it laborious to put in, but then it's like right on your hip. It's stupid. Just put it in your pocket like a normal person. Linus, they're in there. I feel like I could be at the gym and be doing the opposite of a sit up. You do those, right? You guys are making fun of me, but I can't hear you. When you do get it engaged properly, it goes deek. And then there's like a one second and then it pauses. By the way, I got this shirt from LTTstore.com. Isn't it cool? <sighs> Usually my wife wears it, but not today, I took it. I have, I'm having a tendency to have my hand too outturned. I need to go in like this. That's okay, now double, tick, tick. Next song, triple. Did nothing, but I heard a sound. That's weird, I'm gonna have to go into the app and see what that does later. I'm gonna hold this down now. It was like, but I don't know what the hell that means. Oh, I think now that I've paused the music, it's more clear that I have transparency on now. Can you speak to me again? Hello, James. That sounds very clear. Do, 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 do. Speak? Hello, James. Yeah, this is A and C now. Okay, it's very gentle. What if I hold it for like 10? 10 James seconds. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. Yes, it starts playing bird noises. Really? You need that on the bud. You you need to access that from the bud. That's bizarre. That's called Zen mode. The, the bird noise was a, a Zen mode noise and those are stored locally on the buds themselves. So even if you don't have your phone, you can still Zen out, which actually is a good move because if you want to Zen, you want to unplug. So that's cool, I respect that. But just go outside, man. <laughs> it's, it's birds. This music sounds pretty good too. I would say it's probably a bit pumped up bass. Although I do have a good seal, so that's contributing. But yeah, these are very rich sounding and I'm just grooving here. But it might be because of Hootie and the Blowfish. All right, I'm gonna add my device to the Hey Melody app. 
There they are. You can choose which media you actually use the earbuds for. In this case, they're pretty much all turned on except for contact sharing. We got media, phone calls, use them as an input device. I guess uh, using them for the assistant counts for that. Earbud functions, check that out. Okay, this is like its own kind of full on pseudo app. That's so weird. What am I, I wanna go to the app switcher to see what app I'm actually in. I'm still in wireless settings and it has a visual representation of the earbuds and the case. It's got the battery levels, which is typical. Noise cancellation. You can turn that off from here. The transparency. <laughs> personalized noise cancellation. What is that? Noise cancellation effects are personalized to your auditory canal, your own personal hole to give you clearer sound. Turn it on. We gotta do the we gotta do the test, guys. I didn't study. Oh my god. It said it failed because my surroundings are too quiet. Can you guys just start making noise and clap and holler and dancing and it worked, guys. Thank you. Now I have a whole new menu. Smart, max, moderate, mild. And smart, or yeah, and smart's gonna adapt it depending on your surroundings. So they had that in the last model too. You know, you're walking around, it's at a certain level, uh, something noisy happens around you, it cranks it up, goes back down after. Smart Master EQ, so there's a couple EQs on here. One of them is actually made by Dyna Audio. I believe that would be the default one. Then you got Bold, Serenade, and Bass. Bass is descriptive enough, but these Bold and Serenade, I have no idea what that means. And there's no visual equalizer. So I can't see the shape of the response curve or anything. What happens when I hit Add? See, that's what I wanna see. Here I have, yeah, six different knobs, that's okay. And I get plus or minus 6 dB. Yeah, that's nice to see. Not gonna do that now though. High res mode, play audio in high resolution. This is going to reduce your battery life and it could increase latency. I uh, am gonna play some music and then come back to that. See if I can hear a difference. Oh no, did I turn off the screen record? These are playing some pretty low notes. Now let's see what, what it's like when I switch modes. I find when I'm trying to assess the resolution of a uh, earphone or headset, headphone, I. One useful aspect to listen to is the percussion. If you can kind of hear the mallet, the brush, the drumstick on the canvas of the drum, that's a good place to look for resolution. And in this track, I can kind of hear a little bit of that. I'm hearing the mallet hit the kick and I can just imagine what it's made of. So let's see if when I turn HD off, I can still detect that. Kind of annoying, every time I switch back to the settings app, I have to connect again. And it gives me this damn prompt every time. There's no like, don't show this again checkbox. Very annoying. I will say that sounds very nearly the same. Could be slightly worse now. It's a real feature! What else they got in here? Golden sound. Get studio quality sound customized to your ear canal structure and hearing characteristics. I heard the sound of rushing water and like then birds squawking and stuff, but at first it sounded like pee. That freaked me out. I'm hearing a bunch of little beeps at different frequencies. This is like a full on hearing test. Like that when I've worked in jobs that required hearing tests for safety, the exact same thing, except I had to sit in a van and hold a little a beeper. Generating an audio enhancement solution. Well, my left and right are very equal, which is cool. Oh, they give you a before and after. That is actually sick. Okay, before. Music is playing now. Sounds pretty good. Weird, when you switch between them, it sounds like the same, except for the after just kind of sounds louder. I guess they just brought up certain frequencies. Spatial audio. Now this is kind of a big one. This is an Android feature now, and this is the first set of earbuds to support this, I think. It should be similar to what Apple has for their spatial audio, where there's the head tracking. Basically the sound is from a fixed point in space. So if, I, if you turn your head, the sound does not follow you like normal. There's also an up mixer. So you can take stereo mixed files and up mix them as if they've been recorded for multiple speakers and still take advantage of your spatial audio. So right now it's off and you can see in the animation when the character turns his head that the audio follows the ears. Fixed, there's no head tracking really happening, but at least it's multi speaker and it's enveloping the character here. And then head tracking, the sources stay in place and the head moves around. Again, this is actually a great interface. You can test it out. Normal. Oh, I would say this is more immersive with this on. There's this sound that I, I'm keying into this one particular sound. When I start, it's over here, and then I just move my head, it's, it just kind of stays over there, so. I don't know. I'm still not convinced with the whole spatial audio thing. I don't care who makes it. All right, now we're into the Zen modes. I guess I'll turn it on. I got the birds going. Oh, Iceland, you gotta download that one. So warm sunrise is the only one it comes with and they've got 
several other ones here. Summer Seashore. I thought that said a hole for some reason. My brain. Earbud controls. Finally, we're here. This is what I wanted. <laughs> I was looking for this like 25 minutes ago. Okay, so it's divided by left and right. That's cool. Wow. You can actually turn off the single squeeze now. On the previous ones, that was one gesture that you could not customize. You, now the options are play, pause, or none. Still not as robust as being able to change it to whatever you want, but better than last year. The double, you can make any of these things, including game mode, which just takes the latency down to, I believe they're advertising 54 milliseconds. Triple, you get all the same as double. I read that there was a way to do the volume on these things by touch. Looks like there still isn't. But this is pre-release, so maybe they'll add that later. I really think there should be, you should be able to map something on the bud to doing. Volume, especially if I'm listening to those birds without my phone, how the heck am I gonna turn it up and down? Oh, they got the find my feature, that's cool. I'm gonna chuck these in the couch and see how loud it is. Yeah. I can barely hear this. They know I just did a hearing test. That is uh, not obnoxious enough. Oh, camera rating so it's weird. Take photos with the earbuds. When using the camera, double tap either earbud to take a photo. Kind of cool, but like, as long as you want to be like this in your photo. Okay, so if I double tap it. Three, two, one. Cool. Thank you. Can you imagine though? <laughs> yeah, just be like, hey. <laughs> Uh, you can see here that it says LHDC, that's the codec these use. It's comparable or it's a competitor like Aptex and uh, LDAC, which is a Sony proprietary one. Dual connections, the last thing I want to try out. So this means you can connect these simultaneously to two devices, including two Android devices. So two phones. And I am just expecting this to not work. Like I'm expecting this to be able to, I'm playing music on this phone, and I'm hearing it, I press pause, I play music on this phone, it just switches right over. That would be how I expect it to work. I'm giving this like a 2% chance of working. This is no way. I'm getting nothing from this now, my original device. Yeah, so it didn't work, like I said it wouldn't. It's paired but not connected. Now it's connected. I can hear the music, pause, go back to this one, play. No, that's just coming out of the device. We tried everything, it doesn't work, I knew it wouldn't work. Stupid feature, don't buy it for that feature. What else can it do? Still has a really good battery life. Since last year, it's pretty much the same. It's like 37 hours, including the case, obviously. Uh, that's with ANC off. I've seen sources that said 25 hours. ANC on, which is actually less than last year by three hours. Um, so it's a pretty strong contender with the battery life. Overall, I think they sound pretty good. I think the industrial design is excellent. Interface is okay, app is okay, price point's great, and they're IP55, and standard is IPX4, meaning no certification for dust protection, and four is like uh, big drops and splashes, which is sufficient for going to the gym and stuff, but this, it does five, so it can do some sprays. You might even get away with wearing them in the shower, but I wouldn't recommend it. So I think these are really great value earphone. Get them, like the case. They give, they get a recommendation from me. Yeah, so these are, these are pretty dope. They're not like sick, they're not like the headphone I'm gonna pick if I have a million dollars, but if I have a $200 or less, these are great. I can't believe they got cheaper. Thanks for watching Short Circuit. If you like this video, watch another earphone video from yours truly. Maybe the previous OnePlus Buds. Please don't stop the music. I'm gonna say something, stop.